Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this follow along, we are going to do a bit more with Application Insights by putting in custom events, which is very useful for tracking. So what I want you to do is open up uh, Application Insights for our project that we've been working with. We'll also have to go back to our GitHub, uh, GitHub repository and open that up in uh, Gitpod, as uh, you should know how to open Gitpod by now. And we'll give it a moment there to load, and we'll enter in some code. So we do have server-side and client-side tracking. We did the client-side tracking in the, uh, usage, um, the usage section there. But if we expand this here, uh, we're gonna want to put something in the index jade file. And so here, what we'll do is add a new script tag. So that's gonna be script. This is jade language. I don't care if you learn it, but you just gotta follow along for this purpose. Uh, Coding is not the uh, lesson here. But um, we have text JavaScript, so that allows us to do um, some JavaScript there. And I don't know why it's saying tab when I type. That is not very useful for me, but I'm just gonna hit do space space and type in app insights track event. We'll autocomplete that there. We'll do parentheses, curlies, name, double quotations, client count. And so every time this page loads, it's gonna do track event with this name and that's gonna count up. It's called client count. That's how we know it's on the client side. So that's the index page there. Um, and so now we need to do server side. So there's a few things we have to do here. We gotta go to app.js. And in here we need to uh, set a variable that's gonna get passed along. Uh, so we'll go down below here and do app.set parentheses uh, app insights. And this is specific to Express.js. So again, I don't care if you remember how this works, but it's just a way that we can pass a, a, a variable that we're gonna access in our routes. So we go app insights default client and um, I'm gonna make sure we have that. Yeah, it's up here. So we're passing this in here, so that's good. We'll go over to our routes, and in our routes in our index page, we need to um, add uh, app insights. So we'll do app insights, and we're gonna grab it from that app variable we just set. So we do app uh, request app get app insights, and then we'll track it. It looks exactly the same as the other one. We are using JavaScript on the front, uh, front end and the back end, so it makes things a little bit easier. And this one's gonna be called name, uh, double quotations, single quotations, doesn't matter, uh, server count. Okay, so now we have it server side, client side. I'm gonna go up here, just commit my code, client and server side tracking. We'll commit that. And what we will do is we'll do an NPM start to restart up the application now that we have both sides of it. We do have a problem here on line eight of index, uh, index, index jade file. So we'll go here, take a look at what it's complaining about. Um, does not like something. So I'm just taking a look at my, my code off screen here. It's line eight, it's this line it doesn't like. So why not? Um, Hmm. I mean, I don't see a problem. So what happens? I'm just gonna copy my, 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 oh, you know what? It's indentation. See where it says block content? It's supposed to be this level here. That's probably the problem. So we'll stop it, we'll start it. We'll give it a second. It's still crying. It's a big old cry baby here, but that's okay. We'll work through it. Now I hit tab, it's actually tabbing properly because I wanted to do tab before. I don't know why it was uh, doing that. Still doesn't like it. So I do have the code off screen here. So I'm just gonna copy paste it. I mean, you'll have, if you're on my platform, you'll have it. So you can just say allow. Oh, there's a period on the end. Of course, could barely tell that was there. Okay, so we'll save that. Again, I don't care if you learn J templating, it's uh, not a skill you have to remember. So that is there. I'm just gonna keep hitting enter because I want to observe this custom event data. So we go back over here into app insights and we should be able to see this somewhere. Um, this would be under where? This would be under somewhere. I'm trying to find it. It would be under which blade? Huh, I didn't write it out of my instructions, so we'll have to click around here to find it. Um, I think, 
Well, it's event data, so it's probably under events. Yeah, that's where it is. Now I'm remembering. And we, what we can do is filter this down and say any custom event here. And if we scroll on down, we'll go view more insights. I don't know why they have a little button there to, to get that information, but if we scroll on down, we have server count. So server count is definitely working. Uh, we don't know why we don't see client count. So what we'll do is go back here and we'll right click and see if there's any errors. There is an error, App Insights is not defined. And so it should be defined in the head because we have this script from before, right? You know what? We didn't put the instrumentation key in. So that's not good because in the last follow along we were supposed to do it, um, but it didn't really matter because we didn't have any data to look at, so that's why we didn't notice. So we'll go back to our overview um, and we'll grab the instrumentation key here, go back to our code, and we will go up to app.js. And this is client side, so it's a bit harder to um, pass it in as environment variables. We're not even gonna try to do like to do that because it's, it's an instrumentation key, it doesn't matter. Um, and we're gonna go back to the uh, layout here and down below, we'll just replace that. Okay, we'll stop, start it, hit refresh, right, uh, right click to see if it's working now. Let's give it a refresh here. It's still saying App Insights is not defined, which is not true, but there is an error here. Um, we'll click into it. It's not showing me the line, which would be nice. Okay, so we'll go back here and there's something wrong here. It doesn't like something. You know what? It's probably missing the period. There we go. Can't believe we never noticed that before. So fixes, I'm very confident that is the fix. So we'll go back here, inspect, refresh. Already lost that, let's do inspect again. No errors here, that's good. We'll hit refresh, 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 refresh. We'll go back to application insights and we will go back to events. If we can find it, there it is. And I'm gonna go down to any custom event, scroll on down. More insights. And it might just need some time to propagate because we're not getting any errors now, so it must be working. If it didn't track, it would, it would give us an error. Client, client count. So it is showing up, so it is counting now. So that's how we do custom event tracking. So there you go. And for the most part, I mean, the only thing we didn't look at was applic application map. Take a quick look here. This would show you like connections in between stuff. So here we have like the web to the client. If we set up other things like a database and stuff like that, we would have something more interesting. That's more of an advanced thing. And you know, maybe I'll do that in another follow along, but this one is done. So let's go ahead and clean this all up. You can delete this repository, it's no big deal. Uh, if you're worried about the connection string, you can delete that whole, yeah, the repository. But since we are tearing everything down, it's not going to matter. And I know we replaced it as an environment variable, but remember it's in the Git history. So uh, someone went back, if got access to your GitHub repository, it went back in time, they could find it. But um, what I'll do is I'll go to resource groups. We'll look for our app insights here and we will hit delete resource group. We'll say my app insights, go ahead and delete, delete. And there's our cleanup. So there you go. That was application insights.